class, this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exam tutoring, ensuring that you ace your next exam still on uh, chemistry uh, alternative B for uh, Waheka practical, talking about quantitative analysis. Okay, uh, this is the fourth um, a lecture video trying to look at what. Uh, uh, the exam question is uh, very likely uh, supposed to uh, look like uh, so that uh, we know D here is uh, HNO3 and he here is uh, carbonate 4. Uh, in some cases, in some questions, it is um, hydrated, in some cases, it is not. I did it. So in the case we are going to look at now, as you will soon see in the question that I will display on your screen, I uh, will be talking about just the anhydrous form, that's uh, sodium carbonate. Like you can see in the question on your screen, D is 0 0.05 mole per dm cube. So which means the concentration of this is 0 0.05 mole per dm cube. And for sodium carbonate here we were also given the concentration in mole per dm cube so it is not true that at all times we will be given one of the uh, concentration and told to look for the other concentration no we can be given just anything in this particular question as you can see on your screen e is 0.025 mole per dm cube so 0.025 mole per dm cube okay of a child's carbonate for salt. They didn't tell us if it was sodium child's carbonate for here. So, but what we basically have, we can just say, okay, what we have is a carbonate salt. So, which means that E here is not even disclosed. You're just going to have uh, a certain uh, solution labeled E. So if the question comes this way, D is 0.05 mole per dm cube, E is 0.025 mole per dm cube, Charles of carbonate for salt. Maybe it's calcium carbonate, maybe it's sodium carbonate, maybe it's magnesium carbonate, maybe it's potassium carbonate. We don't know. Put D into the bread and titrate with 20 or 25 cm cube portion of E using methyl orange or screen methyl orange as indicator. Record the volume of your pipette. Our pipette here, we are using 25 cm cube. Um, tablet your readings and calculate the average volume of the use. So, from the very first uh, lecture video on quantitative analysis, talking about alternative B chemistry practical work, I have uh, said, and as you can see on your screen, uh, what our table looks like. Average volume of D of the charge on nitrate 5 used is 24.60 cm cube. So, invariably, we've answered a part of that question. From your result, calculate the mole ratio. Calculate the mole ratio of acid to charge carbonate 4 in the reaction, expressing your answer as a whole number. Uh, ratio in this case we're just told to calculate uh the mole uh, ratio and i don't think that it's a big deal no that's not a big deal this is a this is b when we say cd vd over ce ve that would be equal to nd over ne what we what we have here since we were not given the carbonates we were not told, we were just told it's a carbonate salt. Then it means that for this particular question, we were not given any equation. So it is not true that at all times we must be given equation as well. So we don't have any equation. So if we have equation, it would have been easy for us to know the number of moles of D. And it would be easy for us to know the number of moles of E, talking about it. But we were not given any equation so it means that from calculations that is when we can get to know this so what this means is that the mole ratio we we're told to calculate this is the mole ratio you see in the question displaying on your screen it says from your results calculate the mole ratio of acid to carbonate so the acid is d 
E is the carbonate. So this is the mole ratio here. So what is our CD? From the question, CD is actually 0 0.05 times, what is our VD? That is the average title value, 24.60. This is my own title value. So you have to adhere to the title value at your respective uh, examination centers. So CE here is 0 0.025. 0 0.025 times VE is the volume of pipette, 25. And that's going to give us the mole ratio. So that what this means when we compute is that we're going to get 1.98 we get 1.98 so the mole ratio equals to 1.98 so having 1.98 is the same thing as saying uh, uh 1.98 over one so that the mole ratio invariably 1.98 is approximately two two over one and uh that is what we were told to do for so when we say more ratio of the acid to the base sorry the acid to the carbonate so d to e that is going to be two ratio one and that way we've been able to answer question b as you can see on your screen that is two ratio one that answers that so to question c we were told that given that e contains 7.2 gram per dm cube of the hydrated triazocarbonate four salt hydrated triazocarbonate four salt it contains um 7.2 gram per dm cube of the hydrated triazocarbonate four salt calculate the concentration of the anhydrous of the anhydrous salt in e in gram per dm cube look at it again given that e contains 7.2 gram per dm cube of the hydrated triazocarbonate fossil. So what that means for question uh, C1, C Roman figure one, what that means is that um, the hydrated E, the hydrated form, the concentration in gram per dm cube is actually 7.2 gram per dm Q. Now, I was also look for the concentration of the anhydrous salts of the anhydrous salts in E in gram per dm cube. Take note that the anhydrous form of the salt, the carbonate salt, have been given the molar concentration as the concentration in mole per dm cube to mean 0 0.025. So, when I am looking for the concentration of the anhydrous carbonates in gram per dm cube concentration in gram per dm cube is actually concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass that is how it is done you look at uh, that particular question we were given the molar mass of the anhydrous salt to be 106 we're given that as 106. It's in the question. You can see that on your screen. 106 gram. Okay. So what that means is that that will be 0 0.025 times 106. 0 0.025 times 106 is going to give us 2.65 gram per dm cube. So this is for the hydrated version. It's just there. This is for the anhydrous uh, version. So we are going to need uh, this, I think, as we move into Roman figure. So there's a percentage of water of crystallization in the anhydrous salt. What is the percentage of the water in the anhydrous, in the, anhydrous, in the hydrated salt? Percentage of water of crystallization. Look at it very well. The hydrated salt has 7.2 gram per in. 7.2 gram in one dm cube of solution and hydrous form has 2.65 gram in one dm cube of solution so which means if this is the anhydrous form of the salt 
then it means what makes this become 7.2 is all water so i can say the mass of the water i can say the mass of the water talking about c roman figure three here roman figure two i can say the mass of the water is actually 7.2 minus 2.65 so 7.2 minus uh 2.65 is going to give me 4.55 gram so that is the mass of the water in the hydrated source so but what i was told to look for is the percentage of the water of crystallization in the hydrated source so percentage of water of crystallization is going to be 4.55 out of 7.2 times 100 so this is what i need to percentage uh to get my answer and this is going to give me 63 point uh, if you compute this is a 3.2 percent that is the percentage of the water of crystallization look at the question uh very well no equation we were told to do for more ratio uh we were not even told to calculate the concentration of any of them in more per dm cube as we've been given uh the concentration in moles per dm cube we were told to you know look for the mass concentration of the anhydrous salt and we're told to look for the percentage of the water of crystallization and that's one of the reasons why we are having you know various forms of the question each time you have to deal with uh, uh those salt that contains water of crystallization uh the questions could come uh in any uh direction but if at this point you're still finding it difficult to you know really get hold of what we are talking about talking about this quantitative analysis do not hesitate to send a dm on the uh, whatsapp number on your screen and as well you can check us out on our website 300 plus academy.com the very first thing you see is our whatsapp group the link to various whatsapp group click that when you get on the group uh direct your question to any of the admin and i tell you our solutions will come right away for myself and the entire team, it's bye for now.